He picked it up in my car, so it's flying on me. And looked down the block and saw the cop falling down. Looked like he got shot in his right leg. New details at 5 after an officer takes a bullet and then returns fire, killing the suspect. News 9's Jennifer Pierce has been following this story. It is still developing. She joins us now live from police headquarters with the very latest. Jen. Carl, the officer who shot and killed the suspect is on administrative leave. Now, that same officer was also shot in the leg. He is recovering from that gunshot wound. And police identified the suspect as 23-year-old Crestavian Wilson. A quiet evening turned into a chaotic scene near Southeast 23rd and Kate Wednesday night. The massive... Uh Police presence. Uh, it's just, it was a lot of cars coming in. A stream of officers swarmed the area after shots were fired. One witness described hearing four or five shots and saw an officer go down. He's taking off in my car, so it's flying on me. Police say Officer Bryce Sheehan was shot in the leg after he stopped Crestevan Wilson for a pat search. Sheehan was called to check on a disturbance involving Wilson. The officer was able to return fire uh, towards the suspect. The suspect got into the officer's car in an attempt to take the vehicle. But police say a resident stopped Wilson from taking the car and he took off running. He's running, he's running uh, down 21st. A drone was used to track the suspect down. Police say he was badly injured and hiding in a nearby backyard. This is new video of Wilson about 40 minutes before the deadly officer involved shooting. A neighbor's camera caught him walking up and down Kate Street several times. At one point, he lunged at a dog. The neighbor says Wilson pointed a gun at that dog. They had no idea he would later turn that gun on an officer. The suspect was shot as well and was transported uh, by IMSA after officers rendered aid to him. And he died a short time later at a local hospital. And this shooting is still under investigation. Once it's completed, it'll be turned over to the district attorney's office. Reporting live at police headquarters, Jennifer Pierce, Oklahoma's own News 9.